Welcome back to the channel. Today we're at the Marriott Courtyard in Fresno, California. So come get lost with us in a hotel tour. Macy's busy working a contract, so I'm gonna take you around on a quick room tour before we head out to the hotel. As you can see, here's the entryway. There is not much light in the entryway. There's this one side light right here, and that's it. That's all you get light-wise. Now, there is a full-length mirror in the entry area, which is really nice. It's nice and clean. And then back here, we got to the right, this is the bedroom. And then to the left is the bathroom. So let's go check out the bathroom. So the first thing when you get to the bathroom, on the back side towards the sort of hangout area, I guess, is the closet. It doesn't go all the way up to the roof, which is really weird. Some interesting decisions were made design-wise in this place, but you got some hangers. There's an ironing board in there. You got an extra sheet and a blanket. You got a hair dryer. You got the typical luggage rack, and then we spin around to the other side, and you've got a rather small sink, you got a mirror, and then you got a light above it. The weird thing about this is switch placement. Now, there's a switch here. This turns on just the lights above the vanity, right? And then this switch right here by this outlet turns on the one inside the toilet area. So we open the door. This is the toilet area with the shower. You've got a pretty standard toilet, got a rack with two towels on it, and then we got the shower. I used the shower last night. Pretty good water pressure, good heat, pretty decent space for your stuff too. I do kind of like that part. The exhaust fan is really loud, uh, but hopefully that means it's working. Then you got this little safety bar when you're getting out of the shower, but that's it for the bathroom area. Now, it's not very big. As we back out, you'll see. That's pretty much the bathroom area right there. And it is right next to the entry door. Next, let's take a look at the living room. Making our way to the living room. Now this is the thermostat. There's one in the living room, and then there's also one in the bedroom area. So there are two different air units. They're against the wall. They're sort of the old school uh, wall units, I guess. One thing I will say about this room is it's super dark. So you can kind of see it on camera. Over in this corner by this far door, which you can open up to connect rooms, there's not a single light over there. Not one. It is so unbelievably dark. Uh, and we have been here for a day. So some of our stuff is out and we're actually getting ready to pack because we're heading to San Francisco. So if you want to see our adventures in San Francisco, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, but back to the room tour. There's this little lamp over here. Gives off a little bit of light and there's a table underneath it. They do have a couch over here. Now the couch does have a have a pull out on the bottom, supposedly. Uh, we haven't tried it. That can give you a separate bed. Can't guarantee it, but according to the website it does. They have this bench for your feet. Then they have a TV over here. Pretty good size for the room. Ooh, a little blurry there. It's a decent size for the room. You got some cabinet and storage space. There's nothing really in there. You got your desk here, which I've been working on, has one little lamp, not a, not a single light there. And then you have like this pull-out table, but you only have one desk chair for the pull-out table. So I'll never get that at a lot of these Hiltons and the Marriott's do this, but it doesn't make sense because the dining room table, you only get one chair for it. So who else is gonna sit with you at this dining room table if they only have one computer chair? Now this is pretty nice. This is probably the best lit area in the entire apartment. There's two recess cans over this, uh, it's almost like a wet bar, but there's no sink here, so it's not technically a wet bar. You got your uh, knockoff coffee maker. Knockoff Keurig, I guess, coffee maker. You got an ice bucket. You got a tiny fridge. And then you got a little microwave. And then there's nothing in these again. <laughs> See, there's nothing there, so it's just kind of more storage, but there's nothing down there. I don't know what you'd actually keep in there if you wanted to, but that's kind of the wet bar. And again, this is the brightly... This is the brightest, I guess, part of the entire room, other than the bathroom vanity area, which is a weird decision because it's kind of far away from everything else. And you'll see everything else is really, really, really dark. There's this weird piece of artwork out here too. 
Now let's take a look at the bedroom. Made it to the bedroom. First thing you'll see is there is a, another air conditioning unit. It locks you out at 85, so it doesn't really get that cold. Uh, another big lamp. Different from the ones out there. The other one had like a, almost like a flying saucer thing on the top. This has like a, I don't know, a round cylinder, I guess. Uh, it's right by the cuck chair. So there's a cuck chair in the bedroom. Then you get two queens. So we got the two queen suite. And there's a whole story about this that I'll tell you in a minute of why we got the suite instead of just a regular room. Uh, but let me finish this tour first. Then you got another dresser, kind of similar to what's out in the living area. You got three drawers and then a bigger sort of side one. The TV's okay size. It's about the same size that's in the living room. You got your wall unit for the air conditioner. And then over by the beds, there are just two outlets underneath these lights. And then you have two USBs in the uh, alarm clock. And then there's a phone and a little table with one drawer and a blank spot underneath it. Now I will say again, not very many USBs. The only USBs in this entire room are the clock. Uh, the, the outlets in the light thing don't, don't really work very well. Uh, one of them doesn't work at all. The other one, I don't know, I have not tried it yet. Uh, so it definitely could use a refurb, getting a couple extra switches and some charging spots so that you stay here. There's nothing on either side of the bed, so there's no nightstands between, or I'm sorry, on the other sides, just the one in between, which is okay, uh, but it does kind of limit you for what you can do here. So yeah, this is the bedroom. Now let's talk about our experience getting the room. One more thing before we get to the how we got the room. Uh, we have stayed here again a couple nights, so that's kind of why the beds are a little disheveled. It was really clean for an older place. You'll see they even has popcorn ceilings, which is always weird. Uh, for an older place, this has been really clean. So this was a really clean room. It smells pretty decent in comparison to some of the other ones that we've had. It just could definitely use a refurb when it comes to upgrading some tech. It looks like all of the upgrades they put into technology is literally just to turn off lights if you're not in the room or shut down the air conditioners so that it doesn't cool properly. Cause you know, wouldn't want to spend any extra money on that energy. There's one more thing I want to show you. Let's check it out. I will say the blinds for this place do a really great job of blocking out the light, but there is a little porch out here. So let's go check out this little porch. Unlocker, oops. Sorry, the uh, door's a little sticky. So you definitely have to wiggle it a little bit to get out here, but there are a couple seats out here. So you got two seats, a table outside this sliding glass door. There is the pool. Interesting thing about the pool is the pool is only open from 6 a.m. I believe till 1 p.m. So it's not open that late in the day. It literally closes at 1 p.m. <laughs> but this is your view. We're actually behind some bushes. Uh, on the other side, you can see that if you head to the room, you'd just be able to walk right out onto the concrete. So I don't really understand why this one has bushes in front of us and we can't get out there. Some nice plants though, some red stuff. Over that way, there's the gym right there. Wow, it's really dark right now. I'm guessing the lights are on a timer. And then on the other side of the hallway is where the laundry room is. So if you're interested, you basically just go out our door in the front pop right around and there it is look at that it used to have a light out here too that they've capped off something i noticed in this place is that they've capped off a lot of lights like i was saying in both of the rooms there's actually a capped off fan place so a fan's supposed to be here with lights which would light up the room better but they've taken out the fans for whatever reason and now there's almost no light in either of these rooms i, I don't understand it honestly like just leave the fans in put the lights up roll with it. Plus I'm, I'm one of those people who love fans. So I do enjoy a fan whipping in the evening. So an interesting thing about this experience, check out the show notes below. We actually filmed the video of coming here. Nacy works as an OPC, which is an organ procurement coordinator or organ procurement specialist. We headed out here pretty late in the evening and got here at like eight o'clock. We're supposed to just get a single room. Uh, and it was supposed to have two twin beds and just a single single room, nothing fancy. We got here, the door didn't close. Uh, you could literally just shove the door on the, from the outside and get right into the room. Uh, we tried to report it to the hotel staff and they literally told us, too bad, so sad. It took us about 30 minutes to an hour of arguing with them with like, this is ridiculous, the door at least needs to be able to lock. 
it's insane that you're putting us in this room, that they finally put us in this room. Come to find out because we are Marriott Bonvoy members, if they had uh, like pushed us away, they apparently owe us like $100 in cash and some other points too and stuff. So they put us in this suite, acted like they did us a favor, but in all reality, we had a hotel room that the door didn't close. So if you're considering this hotel, let me say that's, that's definitely one of our first red flags. Now stay tuned to the end after our, the rest of the hotel review and we'll give our legit final thoughts and talk a little bit more about it. This is what the hallways look like. They have this weird sort of triangle floor pattern. This reminds me a lot of the hotel we stayed in just outside of New York. It's very much the same smells, the same look. It's kind of interesting. Here is the outside of the building at night. That is the front where the check-in is. There's a middle doorway with elevators. And then over here looks like some big body of water, which I'll check out during the day and find out what that is. But there's like a big body of water between us and whatever that is over there. Here's the business center. I got uh, three PCs, a printer. Then they also have a bar back here with a bistro and restaurant. And this is the lobby. And they have a little market over here too. Yes. Here is the market. In case you're wondering what they offer in the market. Zoom out a little bit for you. The market. Here is the middle courtyard at night. They do have like a fireplace. Trying to keep you as steady as possible because it's kind of dark out here. There's the lobby right there that I showed you earlier. Yeah, so there's the fire. There's the pool over there. And then they have like this open courtyard area to check out. Let's go look at that fire closer. Ooh, it's nice and warm. I'm a good like few feet back. It's nice and warm. This might be a nice little hangout spot. Somebody left some papers on that chair over there. But this is the fire pit. Now let's go and check out the pool over there. Well, this camera does pretty good in the dark. Uh, but here's another table area out here. It's pretty neat. It's right across from the fire, which is right there. So there's a table and some chairs by the pool. And here's your pool for you. It's pretty nice. And there's also some other chairs over here. I don't know what the hours are for the pool. But this is what it looks like. It's a pretty big pool, I gotta say. It looks really nice. A little bit dirty. Pretty nice. So this is kind of strange. The pool is only open from 6 a.m. to 1 p.m. That's really weird. The pool's only open for five, six, seven hours? I was gonna say five, seven hours. And there's no whirlpool apparently. There used to be a whirlpool. Seven hours. So they got a uh, bike that's down for service. They got a treadmill that's down for service. So only two of the three treadmills work. Impressive. They have a bench, some balls, giggity, some of the bells, and then they have some free weights. They have a mixture. They definitely have a strange mixture of weights here. They have like multiple kinds. They have like these circle ones. They have these ones. And then they also have these circle ones. So they definitely have a hodgepodge of weights and they're missing. Looks like they're missing the 50s. And this is the room. Give you a quick pan of the whole thing. At the fitness center. And they do have some towels. And then right out there is the pool and stuff in that big courtyard area. So inside they call it a fitness center. Outside they call it the exercise room. I don't know what they want to really call it. That's back here. Found the ice machine. It's all by itself. There's nothing on the first floor. It's on the second floor. That's it. There's no vending machines or anything here. And a little air conditioner for this place. So it's actually kind of cool. And like most of these places, this is a pretty warm area. <laughs> Weirdly enough. At the back of the hotel, literally the farthest back on the right side just this way. Down that way is the lobby. It's the guest laundry. Let's check it out. So they have one washer, one dryer, $150 to wash, $2 to dry. Look at how old these machines are. And you're lucky you don't have smell-o-vision. 
because there's definitely like a damp odor, like the washer has not been cleaned. You know, like if you don't clean, there's actually a cleaning thing to clean out the water and stuff. It's definitely got that funk. It has got a funk back here. Wow, really bad funk. And they have a little folding table. Oof, I might not do laundry here. We were thinking about it, but the smell is definitely throwing me off. And that is the cycle times. Those aren't really accurate, just so you know. But a dollar fifty to wash, two dollars to dry. On the other side of the gym, here's some dirty laundry, just hanging out in the hallways. There's a funk, and I'm guessing that's part of it. All right, that concludes our stay at Fresno. We're actually on another adventure right now, but we gotta do a kind of like how Fresno worked out for us. So, what did you think, Nicey? So Fresno was kind of interesting. It was like a last second, we had to find a hotel in the area. When we got there, come to find out there was a huge sports group that was staying the night and they put us in a the jankiest room that I've ever been put in in a Marriott to date. Basically, when we got to the room, the door was actually ajar because the lock was stuck. So you could pretty much just walk in the room and none of the lights worked. So we ended up going back and forth to the front desk at least three different times. They wouldn't change us rooms. Finally, on the third try with having issues with the door, telling us that they would just we should just use the little flip lock. Um, they finally moved us into another room. Yeah, because the deadbolt didn't work. You can actually see our getting to the hotel. There's a We did a full video because we were actually just doing a travel day video that day. Uh, and you can see basically the deadbolt didn't work and the whole door jam was broken. So they had like one little bar that would hold it in. Uh, so when you close the door, it would basically be stuck, up, stuck closed and you couldn't get it open until you like ripped it out. But at the same time, from the outside, all you had to do was push the door really hard and it would open. So it didn't actually lock at all. So it was not so, safe. So yeah, So and the rooms were dirty. Uh, absolutely yeah. disgustingly dirty. Uh, the staff was not friendly or helpful. They gave us uh, drink coupons to Starbucks for our trouble. And it was like, okay, um, I would prefer an adult beverage at this point because, mm -hmm. you know, an adult bedroom might have helped. It's not close to anything. It's all kind of by itself. The gym, as you saw in the video, most of the equipment didn't work. It never worked the entire time we were there. The laundry had this nasty smell to it. Like um, they needed to clean out the like water and stuff. It was definitely some like stale Stagnant. water. Oh gosh, it was so stinky, y'all. You're lucky you don't have smell of vision because it was nasty. Um, but there were some positives. It was a really big room. The water pressure was okay in the shower. And there is plenty of parking. So... If you're just there for the night and maybe you have an extra door lock or something, you consider it. But again, the safety concerns really do do sort of put it on a, I don't think we'd stay there again. Yeah, and it's definitely put Courtyard as a overall, we're just not going to stay at the Courtyards for a while <laughs> moving forward. Yeah, if you remember the one that we stayed in in New York, it was kind of a similar shape, cleaner and the locks work, but it was kind of the similar shape as this one is. Uh, and we stayed at a couple other ones across the country and they all seem to be kind of the same. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so overall, like we just said, it's it's not the top list. There's definitely ways that they can improve that property, but if you're just staying for a night, it's probably not that bad. Assuming you get one that locks the door, so make sure you test that door out if you stay there. So if you guys like this kind of content, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And make sure you ring that notification bell so you get notified when we do at least three videos a week. And we'll come and get you all for the next one. Ain't that the truth, baby Ruth? Bye, everybody. Bye.